I want to discuss how to add a domain name to Office 365 Admin Center. So let's say you've registered a domain name which belongs to you or to a company where you work and you've been asked to actually add that domain name to your Office 365 portal. So it's actually very simple and easy to add a domain name. So what we need to do first of all is to log into your Microsoft 365 Admin Center as a global admin and then you go to settings. Here in settings you have the options called domain. So click on domains and here you can see we have two domain right now. So the first domain is the default domain you actually get when you registered um, an Office 365 trial account or you try to um, create an Office 365 account. So here you see I've already registered a domain name which I've stopped right now. That's why you're seeing this possible service issue. So I want to add a new domain which I've registered for some time, I think for some time ago. So this is very simple and easy. What we need to do is just click add domain or you can as well, add, as well buy a new domain if you don't have one. Microsoft will take you to the right website where you can buy that domain. So here we need to click add domain. So when you say add domain, it says if you already own a domain like contoso.com, you can add it to your account here. So what we need to do is to add that domain, golfglobal.com, and you say use this domain. So you say before we can start up, set up golfglobal.com, we need to we need you to sign into your domain host and verify you own the domain. So surely you will need to verify that you are the owner. Of that domain because you just don't add any kind of domain you you wish to office 365 admin center so it says recommended we if you can create new dns record at your register dns hosting provider so we're going to add a, um, a test record to this domain so just click continue here what we need to do is you will need to go to your domain and add a test record so I'm going to go to that domain right now and add the test record and then I click verify. But make sure that you actually verify that you are adding the right um, test value and the test name. And also you should check your domain, your DNS hosting provider that you don't have any other test um, record that will create some conflict with this test record you are going to add. So after adding the um, TST value or TST record to your DNS hosting provider. So what we need to do is to click on verify. So Microsoft, Microsoft will check and see if that DNS record has been added to your DNS hosting provider. So you can see it says uh, connect your domain to uh, connect your domain to your Microsoft service so you can use email and instant messaging. So what we need to do is let me just click on this small option here. We can see what um, other options we have. So we have a add your own DNS record. If you have a complex DNS record structure, choose this option next. We will provide a list of DNS record that you will need to add for your domain at your DNS host. Or we can say, okay, update your domain name server to point to Microsoft and Microsoft 365. We add the rest of the DNS record and set up your online service. So what I want to do is my DNS uh, record structure is not actually complex. So because I'm just I just registered a domain name with some few megabytes, so it's not actually a complex um, DNS record structure. So I want to actually set up my online. Ser I want Microsoft to set up my online online service for me, or I have the option to also skip and do this later. So I'll I will actually select the second option and click continue. So in this step, we need to choose which service we want to actually activate. So we see we have different options here. It says in this step, you will select the service to be used with your domain. So here I have the exchange and exchange online. And also if I click the advanced options, you can see we have the Skype for Business, which and also we have Intune. So mind you, the Skype for Business is also integrated with Microsoft Teams. Well, what we need to do is you can see that all this has been selected for me so what i need to do i can uncheck the microsoft intune if i think i will not be using the intune and mobile device management for microsoft 365 or i don't want to actually activate um use a skype for business so what i need to do now right now is just to click continue so in this next and almost the final step we have the option to actually add 
um, a record for our website so I don't have a website right now I'm only have a kind of a redirect so if you go to my kelvglobal.com kelvglobal.com you see that it will redirect you to my YouTube channel so I don't have a website for, uh, for this right now so if you have a website you can actually add some other uh, record your DNS record or you can import your DNS record so for me I'll just I'm just gonna click continue to finalize and finish my setup so in this final step we need to add some NS record to our DNS hosting server so what we need to do is we can see that uh, Microsoft has already provided us provided us with for uh, NS record which we need to like first of all we have the ns1.bdm.microsoft.online microsoftonline.com so we need to add this for record well, here you can see the instruction microsoft is giving us it says edit your domain name server ns record to make microsoft 365 the dns hosting provider for kevglobal.com so they say this allows us to connect to your microsoft 365 services and manage their dns record for you so here you also give us some instruction it says create new record or edit the existing value to match the record shown here if your dns provider does not allow settings or the name all, all the name server shown below you will need to set at least two of them so what we need to do is we need to actually copy this just you can here click copy or just copy this and create an ns record in your dns hosting provider so i'm going to create that record and come back again to this following following step to, to finalize everything so after you've configured your NS record, your DNS um, hosting provider, so what you need to do is just click refresh and it will take you to this uh, step which says domain setup is complete. And you can see that uh, uh, kelvglobal.com is all set up and you can now view and manage it from your domain. So what I need to do is just click done. And it will take you to here you can see that Kelv Global is now being um healthy and there is no issue with it so what i need to do is i'm going to set this as my default domain name and i can as well remove this if i wish but i'm just going to leave this and also mind you you will need to go to active users here and here you can see that i have some users which are using um, a different domain name right now so what i need to do is i need to change so for example i want to change um, let me just change chris login credentials so manage user's name and email here we can see the user's name I'm going to change this to Kelv Global or oh, let me just click the edit so I'm going to change to Kelv Global done yeah it has been changed and I'm going to click save changes so that's good and also I'm going to also do this for um, Mike as well and let me see let me just manage users change so change and then click done save changes yes so here so that's how you actually change add a domain name and then change the user's login credential because if you don't change that when the user logs logs in the user will still going to get the previous or the old domain name my name is Kelvin Johnson. This is how you add a domain name to your Office 365 Admin Center or your Microsoft 365 portal. So if this video has been of any help to you, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video, and as well you can also share my video if you think this video can be of any help to someone. Thank you very much and hope to see you next time. Bye.